the first leg of his original Fear and Loathing tour more than 40 years ago, the American writer Hunter S. Thompson moved from Washington, D.C. to New Hampshire. We've come from Paisley to Lincolnshire. The tower of Boston's main church can be seen for miles. But today, down below, it was perhaps our vehicle which more caught people's eye. Well, uh, we've come here today in this car. Oh, you were talking at the front while I'm so when I walk past... Well, yeah, it's difficult to, rather difficult to park, you know. Yeah. But uh, it's all about the election. Do you know uh, it, UKIP's trying to win here? Yes, I know. Do you think they will? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised because we've got such a lot of uh, immigrants here. In fact, we're overrun. If you walk down West Street, it's every place there's immigrants. This is one of the seats where UKIP's hoping to uh, Yeah, I hope win. they do. You hope they do? I hope they do. Why do you say that? Uh, well, basically, this town's overloaded with foreigners. Not that I've got anything against foreigners, and I haven't, but they, uh, the town's been ruined. The town's dying on its feet because nobody wants to come here, apart from the foreigners. Uh, is there a particular policies of UKIP's that you like? Not really. I just like different bits of society now, and immigration and, you know... Is immigration a big problem around here, you think? Yeah, it is a very big problem. Why is that? It's just a big problem around here. We're inundated. We are, and it's only a small town. Yeah. Are you tempted by UKIP? No, not at all. Why? Who would you vote for? Conservative. 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 Why don't you like UKIP, then? Well, I think he's a nutcase, anyway. Who? Nigel Farage is a nutcase? Oh, no. Will they get your vote? No. Who will you vote for? Uh, I normally do Labour. And you still Labour? At the moment, yeah. Who have you voted for in the past? Well, at various people, so the Winston Churchill when it was here, Lord. Right, well, well, that was a while ago, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, and uh, what about the last election? Uh, Who did you vote for then? Um, Mr. Harold Wilson, sir. Mr. Harold Wilson. Wilson. Oh, that was that was uh, that was 40 years ago <laughs> yeah, as well. Uh, UKIP's candidate, Robin Hunter Clark, is just 22, and polls suggest he's got a great chance of becoming Westminster's youngest MP in almost half a century. <laughs> So what have you done in life that qualifies you to be a Member of Parliament? Well, I've lived in the real world. I've actually had a proper lived job. lived in the real world? Yeah. You've been at school and I you've been a be student? Just, I might be just young. Uh, you know, I might be quite young, but I've, you know, got a law degree. I've worked at the Embassy Theatre in Skegness. You know, I've lived in the real what world. What were you doing there? I was uh, an usher and uh, worked on the box office, you know, from being uh, and 16. And that qualifies you to be an MP? No, but, well, I, th I, I think anybody can be an MP. I actually think we need more young people. Well, don't you need people with, with proper experience of life who've gone out and done well, proper jobs for a number well, of years and raised families and, and had hardship and all the all uh, and, and I, have experienced life in the round? Well, I have experienced life. I think we need people from all sorts of backgrounds. I don't think we need people, you know, we need young people, we need more women involved in politics, and that, you know, we need a diverse range of people. And I think I fit the bill, you know, being a young person. From Boston, our Cadillac passed through the flat Lincolnshire Fenland to see Richard Leggett. Like many farmers around here, he employs a lot of foreign labour, especially in season. They're often better workers, he says, than English people. You know, we employ English as well, but uh, the work ethic of the foreign people is, is absolutely superb. I mean, you've got to look at the reasons why they come over here. Um, you know, they're coming over here to better their life, to improve their life, and from a motivational point of view, you know, you know they're going to be good workers. Which way are you thinking of voting in May? Uh, well, I think Conservatives. I vote for the Conservatives. I think some of their policies... I know, I know some of the people um, look at the foreigners um, and think that maybe some of them are sending benefits back home and things like that, but I think some of the policies which the Tories have, have recently announced, you know, could, could potentially deal with that. Driving on to the seaside resort of Skegness, we found the new Tory candidate, Matt Warman, a reporter with the Daily Telegraph. He was meeting local businessmen. But today it emerged from a conservative computer glitch that the high command doesn't seem to regard this seat as a top target. This is a seat where we've got to fight a serious campaign, but I would make that case up and well, down the country. The central office and giving you the support, then? The central office is giving me all the but support. But you're not one of their target seats. I, the label of target seat or not is irrelevant. I have not asked central office for, for anything that they haven't well, given you might me. Not, you might not get more help if you did ask. 
I have no problem with what I'm getting and I'm sure that if I asked for more I would get that too. But the point is that we are, as I say, an established association, volunteers on the ground, hearing good things. UKIP are giving the Tories a fight and a fright. Yet it's a seat where in the Blair years, Labour were the main challenge and twice came within just a few hundred votes. How things change.